Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 7.5. Compare fraction, factors, and products. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to relate the size of the product, that means the answer, compared to the size of one of the factors when multiplying fractions. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. Let's jump into today's lesson with the unlock the problem. Multiplication can be thought of as resizing one number by another. For example, 2 times 3 is the result of a product that is 2 times as large as 3. What happens to the size of a product when a number is multiplied by a fraction rather than a whole number? So we can think of this if we multiplied 3 times 1, our size would stay the same. If we multiply 3 times 2, our size would get larger. But if I multiply 3 by 1 half, then I'm going to get smaller because I'm multiplying by a number less than 1. Let's show this in a model. During the week, the Smith family ate 3 fourths of a cereal box. Shade the model to show 3 fourths of the box. So here's our box. It's split into fours, and we're going to shade 1, 2, 3 of them. Write an expression for 3 fourths of 1 cereal box. Well, that would be 3 fourths times 1. Will the product be equal to, greater than, or less than 1? Well, in order for it to be equal to 1, we would have to multiply it by 1. And we're multiplying it by less than 1. In order for it to be greater than, we would have to multiply it by greater than 1. So our answer is that it's going to be less than 1. You can see that in our picture. We did not use a whole box. We used less than one. Let's show this again. The Ling family has four boxes of cereal. They ate three-fourths of all the cereal during the week. Shade the model to show three-fourths of four. So now we have four cereal boxes. They're each split into four. Let's shade three-fourths of each of them. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So our expression would be three fourths times four because we had four whole boxes. Now our question is, is this going to be less than or greater than four? Well, let's do the math and look at it. If I multiply three times four over four, three times four is 12 fourths and three, four, goes into 12 three times. So it would use up three whole boxes. So is this equal to, greater than, or less than four? It would be less than, because once again, I'm multiplying by less than a whole number. Make sure you have this written down, because my part C is on the next page. Part C. The Carter family has one half of a box of cereal at the beginning of the week. They ate three-fourths of the half of their box of cereal. Shade the model to show three-fourths of one-half box of cereal. Okay, so here's our whole box of cereal. It's split into half, so let's color in one-half of the cereal box. Okay, and then during the week, they ate three-fourths of the half. So you can see it's split into fourths now, so I'm going to color in one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, three-fourths of my half, which would be three-fourths times one-half. So is my answer greater than or less than one-half, or greater than and less than three-fourths? Well, if we look at my product is going to be less than half, because half would be red, and the half is eaten, and it's less than three-fourths, so it's going to be less than both parts, because both parts are less than one. Great job so far, fifth graders. Let's try this another way. 
In the another way, we're going to show this same concept, but not with a model, with a number line. So we're going to show on a diagram the relationship between the products when a fraction is multiplied or resized by a number. So we're going to graph 1 times 3 fourths. We can show this on a number line of fourths. So here's 1, 2, 3 fourths on the number line. So 3 fourths would be 1 jump of 3 fourths. Right, because I have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths would be a whole, but we don't have three fourths, four fourths, we have three fourths. So it would be less than one. So let's write less than by it. Less than one. Okay, now we're going to multiply one half of three fourths. So if we look at here's three fourths, and I'm going to take half of that, so I'm going to go here, so my number got smaller. So it will be less than three fourths, because my number got smaller. Now I'm gonna multiply four times three fourths. So I'm gonna jump three fourths four times. So here's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, which gives us, as we did on the other page, 12 fourths, which equals, sorry, my jumps aren't exactly equal, it equals three. So there's one, two, three, sorry. Oh, I missed a jump, sorry, that's what it was. But you can see that it is still less than four. So we're gonna write less than four. So this whole lesson is about deciding if a number is going to be greater than or less than after we multiply by a fraction. At the bottom of that same page, let's answer the questions. The product of 1 and 3 fourths, so if we multiply 1 by less than 1, 1 times 3 fourths is going to equal 3 fourths. So this is going to be equal because we're multiplying by 1. The product of less than 1 and 3 fourths will be less than 3 fourths and less than the first factor, which is 1. The product of a number greater than 1 and 3 fourths will be greater than the original 3 fourths, but less than the other factor that we multiplied it by. For the example of 4 times 3 fourths, the answer is greater than the 3 fourths, but less than the 4. 4. For this lesson, your lesson activity is the first share and show question. It's on the top of the next page. And we're going to be modeling 4 times 7 eighths. So we're going to be making 4 jumps of 7 eighths. So here's one group of 7 eighths, two groups of 7 eighths, three groups of 7 eighths, four groups of 7 eighths. So if we multiply 4 times 7 over 8, 4 times 7 is 28 eighths. So we know that that is going to be greater than the original 7 eighths. So go ahead and fill in that greater than and be prepared to show your teacher at the teacher table. Great job, fifth graders.